Here we have a Dell Inspiron 11, 2-in-1, 2014 model. We're going to open up and explore the insides. As the name suggests, 2-in-1, it's a laptop. And as you can see now, you can bend it all the way backwards and it comes into a tablet form. You can also bend it back to come back to a laptop form. So to start up, we're going to move to the back to remove the back cover. There's nine screws holding the back cover down. These screws are all the same size and are the same screw. So this is the hard drive, this is RAM, we're going to push two sides apart and the RAM pops up. That's the CPU which is soldered on, that's the battery which can be removed, that's the wireless card also can be removed. So to remove the hard drive we're going to have to remove three screws. This screw here and the second screw are exactly the same screw. The third screw is where the battery is and a different type of screw. So here's the second screw. It's the same size and looks the same as the first screw. And there's a third screw here. This screw is different from the other two screws. Try not to put it in the wrong place as you're going to stuff up the screw hole making it larger or even possibly wrecking your motherboard. Or So now we're going to flip the laptop over to the front so we can remove the LCD screen. So removing the LCD screen is relatively simple. There's no screws, just clips. Just need a prying tool and go around the edge. You can tell the difference between the edge as it's where the screen ends and the metal part ends, there's two different colours. There's only plastic clips holding down as previously said and there's no screws so you just need to go around it and they'll start popping up. Be careful not to rip your LCD screen out as there's a few <laughs> there's still strings holding the LCD screen back and ripping the screen ripping the LCD screen out might damage your strings and cables. So here we go, we're done. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. This is a relatively simple disassembly, doesn't require much, all the screws are the same basically, and there's only plastic clips holding it down, shouldn't be too hard and nothing really can go wrong. And that's about it, thanks for watching the video.